Hey guys, back to talk about Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 2. I figured I did a reaction to Episode 1, so I might as well do Episode 2 and maybe continue throughout the whole season. I'm hoping. No promises, but we'll see what happens. So, yeah, because of Halloween. Halloween was yesterday. Happy Halloween, everybody. Hope it was great. I did a bunch of stuff yesterday, so I didn't get to watch the new episode until today. And once again, I really liked it. Now this shifts a lot from episode one with all the brutality from Negan and, you know, Abraham and Glenn getting killed and the fallout from all that. That was just a brutal, violent episode. It shifts a lot to this episode, which is one thing I really like about this show. People hate it when there's not enough violence in an episode. But, you know, can't have it every episode or when it's when they do have it, it's it's not as enjoyable, I guess. Cause you see it all the time. But I really like the character development they've been doing. The story's great. And we finally get to see King Ezekiel. In this episode with his tiger Shiva. And I've been looking forward to seeing this guy. He just looks so damn cool. And so, you know, it starts out. We pick up with Carol and Morgan. After the events of last season, season six. And, you know, Morgan rescues Carol. And ends up in this place called the Kingdom. Which is run by King Ezekiel and his tiger. So... Carol wakes up, Morgan brings him, brings her to King Ezekiel, and she thinks he's ridiculous with the way he talks. He talks like a, you know, middle ages king. He uses, he calls it his realm and all that stuff, and she just thinks he's ridiculous. And, you know, they're, it's a, it's a fairy tale. And they don't know what's going on on the outside, or they pretend that they don't. So they can live this cushy life inside this place. And she wants no part of it. And she wants to leave. And who can really blame her? Because it is a little ridiculous. And Carol's been through a lot. But, you know, King Ezekiel figures out that, you know, she's putting on a front because she acted like all innocent and stuff. And didn't tell him what she really thought. And he figured it out. And... You know, he, he said, you can't bullshit a bullshitter. Tells him, tells her his story. He used to be an actor. Or he used to be a, an actor, a struggling actor. And he worked at a zoo. He was a zookeeper. And the way he got his tiger is the tiger, he raised the tiger from a little cub. And the, the tiger fell. I forgot what he said it fell into, but really hurt itself. He nursed it back to health her back to health, and never left his side since then. And the, the fact that he's walking around this post-apocalyptic place with this tiger, people start rumors about where he got it. Like, you know, he tamed it, he wrestled it, and he lets people believe that. And he says, you know, he needs... His, his experience as an actor... Makes it, makes it so he can talk like that and fool people like that. And he says people need that nowadays. They need someone to follow. And, you know, he's honest with her. And she she still wants to leave, so she ends up in a house outside of the kingdom. And he goes there. Well, this is near the end of the episode. He goes there and, you know, they, they, figure, they figure shit out. And who knows what who knows what she's gonna do after this? Is she gonna go back to Rick? Is she gonna stay in the kingdom, or is she just gonna is she gonna go back to the kingdom, or is she gonna stay in this house? We don't know. But I look forward to finding out. And there appears to be something some court, they seem to be doing dealings with vegans, people, the saviors. So yeah, that, everybody knows the savior. So I'm I'm assuming at some point. You know, Rick's going to go there and they're going to make a deal to go fight the Saviors with King Ezekiel. Which I really hope happens because I don't know how they beat him without more people. But yeah, I saw the preview for next week. Daryl seems to be in 
not a good mood and not a good place. So I look forward to next week's episode. Really like where this is going. Good stuff. Keep it up. See you next week for episode three. Have a glorious day.